Hi all, welcome to the Season 6 Guide Let's take our teeth into from Showdown cards to Flashback Marcelo We have obviously Team Season cards to get him trained as well and then obviously our storyline cards level 15 and 30 and then obviously everything in between from packs, T4s etc So we could spice links so always much appreciated of the channel if you're new for it but she is I don't know links are doing more for posting channel and social media links as always been like three weeks since an upload like the last upload being like the ultimate team of the season predictions just obviously down a PC, busy with work, all that kind of good stuff so we've just been dodging away but um yeah, in terms of the 87s, we were not far away. We kind of did think um, Leganos would get a player. We went LS over um, Edward, Edwards and um, Adams. I didn't really think they'd go Bundesliga. I thought they'd maybe keep away from the big five, but gives an extra um, option. And then Julien for the option from Scottish Premiership. I went Kamara, but Julian, I can kind of see where they're going with. Um, won't exactly take long if you if you pretty much like grind everything. You could have um, these guys like early next week. Usually you can um, like when you work out all the XP. Because um, I don't usually do silver and gold. Because um, I don't usually complete silver and um, gold. I usually don't quite know um, how much XP um, is obtained. Um, but usually it is a safe item, you get everything that's fairly straightforward. Um, in terms of everything, I would go, um, if I was to go a preference, I would go Edwards, Julian, Adams. Uh, the reason why I would say Edwards first is because of Liganoff's team of season. Um, just feels um, good linking. From a trading view, Julian is the best because he will, oddly enough, boost up um, Tavnier, Goldson, Barisic, um, Edward, um, even Ken, probably all the Scottish Premiership specials, it'll boost them all up, so that's something to factor in with that, so if you've got any of them in your club, keep an eye on them and maybe see if they go up um, nicely. Then in terms of the level 30 cards, 291s and 90, I didn't, I thought it would be 390s, so we go a 91, fair play. Um, Arigi, um, two years to the day I believe since he did the um, corner quick corner quickly taken as Divock Arigi against Barcelona. Um, 91 pace, 90 shot, 81 pass, 91, 35 defending, 87 physical, probably his best ever card and probably just put a hunter on him and it'll do the business. Ander Herrera for me is the one I would go for. Um, from a Lagoon perspective, because he links up for hybrids into like Liga, Lagoon and La Liga, so you've got a quality card there. Like, I would probably put like a Shadow or like that, maybe even an Anchor, but definitely looks a very nice card. Obviously, injury prone. Um, the biggest concern people will say is, oh, gee, by the time I unlock the card. The earliest people will get that card will be like three weeks time, three or four weeks time and they'll be like, oh the card's going to be redundant. Is it really? Like if you try to think of like how team of season is, um, you've probably got a bit of time when you think about it. Especially when it's like six weeks um, away and in Ren, Ren and Lodi, definitely looks an end game left back. Um, now it is worth knowing you have Ren and Lodi here you can unlock in between four to six weeks time. Maybe the earliest three depending how obviously the objectives and XP uh, grinding goes. You've got Flashback Marcelo as an SBC. So depending on what your team is, you've got to think that one out of course. Then you've also got Mendy, Tradable and so forth. Now they've changed the earliest to score two, win one, play two instead of foot friendlies. Isaac, fairly straightforward, assist three goals with crosses, you can get that one game, weak foot finish, you can get one game, which is score four goals using players with minimum four star weak foot. 15 goals, easy enough in one game, one nine score and 11 with a four star skill move player. Um, because it's a league of links, best try to use a full league squad obviously for it, just saves you hassle. For um, Carvalho, um, I would do it in squad battles if it was me personally. Because um, I can't be bored with rivals, um, but assist ten can get one game, 
it's just for a CD element free. Um, because for all class should be fairly straightforward. Score using a lot of linker players in six separate matches, not too strenuous. And scores using Portuguese players in ten. Because that's not um, La Liga specific, you can use whatever. Um, like you say, you save your, for example, depending on who your team is, not too strenuous. I know it's 10 matches and quite battles on, say, pro. It is worth knowing if you've done six of them at world class, it's not too strenuous. And the rest of the usual objectives, nothing too difficult, nothing in milestones, of course. But with Rodrigo and De Jong, they are pretty decent looking cards. Um, biggest problem with Rodrigo is his strength. He has absolutely no strength. You could blow him over. And that would be it. He's got 55 strength, like not really great. 9 jump, 99 stamina is not too shabby. Um, 84, 86, 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot. Like, I feel it's way too much. Like, why not just make it one squad? Like, 4 3 3 second variation, and then like the pack returns not the best. 45k, about uh, 40k worth, sorry. And then 4 2 3 1 for the second one. Like, at this stage of FIFA, that card, even as a 91 rated, should really just be like an 86 rated squad at most. I know we've all probably got good collective fodder, especially if you throw in like a 91 rated card, and it's like you can get away with like an 82 rated squad. But at this stage of FIFA, are you really going to use it? Dijon, obviously, remember if you his um, award winner card last year. I remember unlocking that, and that was such a fun little card for the Europa League final. Um, not as good a card, but this year it still looks pretty decent for um, on face stats, but it's just a pity it's costing an arm and a leg still. 84, 85 rated squad. 3 star weak foot, uh, sorry, 3 star skills, 5 star weak foot. Could be a very um, robust forward, but obviously when you've got the likes of Benzema, um, who was 94 rated for a player a month and you've got this as 84, 85 um, for 4 ratings less, is it really worth it? Probably not. You've also got to factor in 90 rated cards and also other alternative strikers at this stage of the game. That is what the problem is. They don't, like, yes, you're basically doing an SBC on the basis of if Sevilla won it's a 92 rated card, if Rodrigo, if Real Madrid won it's a 91 rated card, like, it's hard enough to determine then obviously Marcelo for the flashback ain't cheap, now if that had 80 shot on him, everyone would clamour and say do this card, do this card, do this card, do this card, it's because it's got 79 shot, and yes it's out for a week, it puts a few folk off, um, but they've done this card a bit of a service this year. Last year was obviously a disservice. Um, but 90 pace, 78 shot, 92 pass, 93 dribbling, 90 defending, 89 physical, volleys and penalties, only negatives from the shooting view. But how it's got 78 shots, that I do not know because there's not enough stats, surely, to make that happen. Five routes, not easy, um, or not cheap, I should say. Um, and it's not justifiable for five routes, if I'm brutally honest, when you have that Ren and Lodi at the end of the season. Unless you've got all the fodder um, ready to use, like the first squad is Serie A oriented because of Brazil, second route is just pretty much the same just for Real Madrid player and um, near enough the same for La Liga. Top performance, you need enough if you've got any league, but I just generally say Serie A and an 80 rated squad, you can go any league you wish generally go whoever's the cheapest so it's usually Serie A falls under the cheapest bracket and um, for now because of how SBCs are and all that kind of stuff it's about 107k worth of pack return and um, they've overpriced it massively it's yes it's a f is it an end game card Potentially, but you've got Mendy to factor in as well for foot birthday. Um, Alba's team of the season. You've got Renan and Lodi. You've got Roberto Carlos to factor in as well. Um, there's lots of alternatives, and because of team of the season in general, you say to yourself, is it really worth it? And it's a head scratcher. Like I would say, 
unless you try to build the best possible, say Real Madrid squad for example, I wouldn't do it. Or if, unless it fits your team, I would just rather go and grind my efforts towards getting Ren and Odie if I was brutally honest. But, we'll see what happens though, it comes down to everyone's discretion of what they feel. It's one squad I feel at least too many. Like if it was four squads, 84, 85, 86, 87, I'd probably um, say fine, but 8 and 8 just kind of makes it just a bit over pricey. Like an overall getting lots of fodder, but we're having to use up ample in the first place. But let me know, folks, your thoughts on all this content. Smash likes always sub to channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.